What is going on guys? This is Mia Sin and if you're watching this video, you might be extremely confused and ask yourself, bruv, is this deck actually good? And the answer is yes. So just for the context, this is Super Heavy Samurai. Yes, a deck that you've probably never heard of because it was garbage for the longest time and out of nowhere, the deck is actually tier 1 status. I'm literally not even joking, I wish I was. It's actually hilarious how I can actually look at these cards and be like, this is broken, unironically, I'm straight up not even lying. So, I will explain to you everything about this deck, don't worry, in details, every single card, everything they do. But before this video starts, my man, you already know it, friendly reminder to smash both the like button and the subscribe button, both of them. If you only smash one of them, the other one's gonna be jealous, so you don't wanna really do that, so please make sure you smash both of them, and now let's proceed into this video. And so first things first, I play a bunch of hand shops. Well, not really the driver is a hand shop, but uh, whatever, you get the point. So I'm playing a triple gamma and then triple magnamut, and then double ball drake and one druid worm, so nine hand shops in total. Except that I'm stupid because I'm actually playing 11 hand shops, Keg W. So yeah, Gamma is a good hand shop because I don't know. I, I guess it's like not bad at all if you're like discarding it with the Link 1 monster because then you can provide back with an Axel Synchro Starter's Dragon and then make Baron de Fleur. So it's never really a bad card. Like you can draw it going first and it still has value. And going second, it's probably like the best hand shop out there. Like it's so generic and it negates and destroys. So you really want that. And then Magnemote is really unfair in this deck because you're also playing like Swap Frog. So then you can Pendulum Summon Magnemote. Yes, I'm not joking. And then bounce it back with Swap Frog. So then you get your end phase search and you get back your Magnemote. So it's really just like a free plus one. And then Baldrick and Druid Worm are basically just the cards that you're searching with Magnemote. So the best way to play a bunch of hand shops would be this configuration. Ash is very random, but. Friendly reminder that you cannot play infinite impermanence because the super heavy samurai monsters will not be good if you have spells and shafts in your grave. And you can also not play Sekus Light, even though it might look like it's good in this deck, it's not because you're still using spell cards in this deck. Even though you're not playing spell cards, you're playing pendulum cards. So there are never spell cards in the grave, but there are still spell cards when you're trying to activate them from the hand, if that makes any sense. So uh, yeah, Sekus Light would not work, but uh, anyways, uh, moving forward, now we're actually mo going to be moving into the... Uh, Actual real Super Heavy Samurai monsters, so the first one is the Big Benkei, it's the level 8 monster that you cannot Pendulum Summon, and you're also not really trying to use its monster effects because it's not really relevant, it's like you're trying to like summon it from the hand by sending a regular Big Benkei from the deck to the grave, like what? That's garbage, it's like, it's, a, it's, a, it's the non-Pendulum version of this card, it's completely useless, it does absolutely nothing positive for the deck, it's just like a Garnet, so... Yeah, don't read the monster effect of this card, only the pendulum effect, and it's also free real estate because you're going to be fetching this from the deck to the pendulum zone with the effect of this card. And basically, uh, the pendulum effect reads, if you control a super heavy samurai monster, you can add one super heavy samurai soul monster from the de deck to the hand, that is a once per turn effect. So it's not really the best starter that you can draw because you want to draw this so that you can scale this completely free and then use its effect and get maximum value. But uh, I think two should be way more than enough. Anyways, now we're playing one wagon. I don't want to play too many normal summons, so I think one should be fine. Basically, it's still a starter. It's a one-card combo. It still ends on four negates on its own, even if you have no other discards. Like, really on its own, it's four interruptions. Uh, the effect is really nice, so on the normal or special summon, you can change its battle position, and once per turn, if it's in defense, you could put it into attack, and then search your deck for any super heavy samurai soul monster from the deck to the hand. So yeah, if you normal summon it, you put it in defense, and then in defense, you put it back into attack, search the uh, soul piercer, and then equip it from the hand, and then make the link one, search, and then, uh, you know, proceed to play from there. So it's a very, very fantastic card. And now we're obviously playing triple soul piercer, this is also a one card starter, just uh, for reference, there are uh, 10 one-card starters in this deck. So the uh, 10 one-card starters are the One Wagon, Triple Soul Piercer, Triple Wakushi, as well as Triple Bike. If you want to play more one-card starters, all you have to do is just play two extra copies of Wagon, and then you will have a total of 12 one-card starters, which I think definitely makes sense. But you can't really play spells and shops in order to search them, again, because they, uh, you know, they, they, it doesn't work. You, you can't really have spells and shops in the grave. Even if, like, they might banish themselves, it might be a little too gimmicky. I don't think I really recommend that. 
So yeah, try to, try to play this deck with only monster cards so that you really never have to suffer the drawback of any of the Super Heavy Samurai monsters because they really truly do nothing at all if you have Super Heavy Samurai, uh, sorry, Spells and Traps in the Grave. But um, yeah, I just didn't want to play like too many normal summons and if you draw like way, way too many copies of these cards, it might start be, being bad. But to be fair, there might still be the argument to play 3 Wagon because if you draw Wagon and the Soul Piercer, it still kind of does something. So I'm very back and forth on it. I think three copies of this card could make sense, especially if you want to play like pure Super Heavy Samurai monster, uh, pure su Super Heavy Samurai, and drop on the Splite monsters. But they're good extenders. But yeah, like I said, Triple Soul Piercer, Triple Wakoshi. Uh, by the way, this searches for every single time it's sent from the field to the graveyard. Any Super Heavy Samurai monster from the deck to, deck to the hand, not once per turn. It's infinite times per turn. So it's a really good card. And then the Pendulum monster is insane. It's a tuner monster so that you can synchro with it. And when it's used as a synchro material, you put it back from the extra deck to the pendulum scale, uh, zone. And another effect is like in the pendulum scale, if you have no spells and traps in the grave, you can place one super heavy samurai pendulum monster from the deck in your pendulum zone and then special summon this card. Absolutely filthy. And finally, the bike is another one card starter because you can discard it from the hand to the grave in order to search your deck for any super heavy samurai monster. Absolutely ridiculous card as well. And it being a level two tuner makes it a very good revival back monster with Axel Synchro Starters Dragon. So yeah, I really, really like this card a lot. And uh, finally, for the other cards that are more like extenders than anything else, I am playing one Super Heavy Samurai Scales. Upon normal or special summon, you can revive back any level 4 or lower Super Heavy Samurai monster. Absolutely no drawback, but it is once per turn, and it's not a starter on its own, it's really just an extender. So I think one copy of this card should be enough. And then one gearbox, when it's searched from the deck or graveyard to the hand, you can search your deck for any earth machine with exactly 500 attack or defense, well, and or defense. And the other, the only target in this deck would be this card, the Soul Claw. And uh, this card, you can easily search it with a ge uh, gear ballista and then search this. So it's a double search and you can pendulum summon the gearbox. So it actually has value. It's not just a card that you're searching just to search this card. And I'm also playing two Soul Gaia Booster. Uh, this card is a level four, pretty much free special summon. But it is once per turn, and again, it's not a starter, so playing three copies of this card might not really be the play. And then one Super Heavy Samurai Spy, it's a level 1 free special summon, but it's not ideal because it's not level 2 or 4, so it doesn't really go into rank 4s or Splite Sprint plays very well. And the effect of, like, re reset back a spell and chaff from your opponent's graveyard to reveal is cute, but not super relevant. So it's, it's a decent card, but it's not, like, extremely broken. But it's still nice utility, and I think playing one is definitely fine. And finally, one Soul, Pierce ma Soul Peacemaker. Uh, this card is extremely good at tributing your Link 1 monster that is so that you can summon a monster from the deck. And finally, the Soul Claw so that uh, you can get a free special summon of a level 2 monster so that you can start your Splite Engine. Now that we're done with the Super Heavy Samurai monster, I think all these cards are very obvious if you know anything about the current format. So one uh, red, one carrot, and then double blue, no jet because jet would not be able to search cards really in this deck. You can't really use Starters, Smashers, or the Double Cross. Uh, that way, the only Splite monsters that really do something would be Red, Carrot, and Blue. I don't think playing Triple Blue really makes that much sense, because again, all you're really searching is Red or Carrot, not like another card that searches another card that might search another card, so it's not like super worth it. Uh, so yeah, anyways, Double Swap Frog, one Nimble Angler, and then uh, two Nimble Beavers. Uh, this is not like pure Splite, so playing Triple Beaver and Double Angler might be a little too much. I'm playing mo uh, them way more as like engines and like, you know, uh, kind of, um, I don't know, like splashable, so whatever, you get the point, instead of like the actual main game plan. And finally for the extra deck, I'm on one Baron de Fleur, one Axel Synchro Starter's Dragon. This uh, basically summons the balance, so you go uh, Synchro Summon using this and any level 4 non-tuner. Revive back the Gamma or the uh, Samurai Bike. And then sync off for Baron de Fleur, and then you're safe from Nibiru. And then Zeus, Tornado Dragon, Baguska, Dweller, Torne uh, sorry, uh, uh, Zeus, uh, yeah, 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 Toad, Gigantic, Gear Ballista, Double Elf, One Sprint, and Triple uh, Scarecrow, so that you always have some form of uh, follow up play for next turn. And for my idea section, I don't know, if you wanna play like Nibiru, it's very easy to search. You can make Gallon Granite and then search it, but I don't really recommend it. Uh, Machina Citadel, it's an Earth Machine, and every Super Heavy Samurai monster is an Earth Machine. So it might be decent, you might actually look into it, and uh, you can definitely make your Gigan to like search or some, I don't know, like Machina cards, like get access to this card. I don't even know, if you have like any feedback to make this deck more interesting, you are very welcome to let us all know in the comment section below. Anyways, a third Ash to Studo Aradnamen, if you're going first, you can send this with Swarfog, and then revive it back with Baron de Fleur. 
And for the Synchro Monsters, Overlord Masu Rao doesn't really come up. Uh, same thing with Steam Train King, uh, Warlord Susano. I, I didn't even know their names, actually. I just know what they do. But, um, and like, this card is cute, but are you really just going to be relying on this and like a level 12 monster too? Baron is just better than all these cards. Now, Ignis Trepominence, in theory, looks broken, but you can't really make it because you don't have any non-tuner pendulum monsters. The one pendulum monster is a uh, tuner monster, so I uh, forget about it. And uh, Tilting and Entrainment? Uh, yeah, this, this card is not really the best because you're not really trying to like revive back the pendulum monsters from the extra deck. You're rather trying to like get it back into the scale so that you can pendulum summon from the hand. And finally, the General Shanao, not great. Wallow, if you're really trying to overlay two bestials. Uh, Gear Gigant and Beyond the Pendulum, because I guess you play Pendulum cards, but it is what it is, not really relevant. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys very, very soon. Peace.